Hey girls and guys, I'm Alexia and today we're gonna talk about reverse osmosis devices. Reverse osmosis water is an amazing starting point if you're requesting clear and ideal water conditions for your marine or freshwater tanks. Arrow water is mostly free from chemicals toxic to fish and corals and plants like chlorine or chloramines. It contains less water hardness than tap water. At many places around the world, tap water contains mostly many chlorines and other added elements, which may harden the water. But plants usually develop better in soft water than the hard tap water. The hardness of tropical natural waters is generally around 4 to 5 GH. In Central Europe, due to the karstic soil, the water hardness is typically around 15 to 25 GH. We can make our domestic waters similar to the tropical waters with softeners. These softeners may be, for example, the reverse osmosis devices. RO devices produce highly purity water free of hardness chemicals like chlorines, toxins, and uh, removes up to 99% of the dissolved solids in the water. This provides a neutral envi environment for you to create the ideal conditions for the fish and for the plants. RO devices eliminate most of the heavy metals, nitrates, salts and the dissolved minerals from the water. It gives you a bigger control over the pH level and the salt content than the tap water. But how does it work? Tap water is applied under pressure to the one side of the membrane and pure water will then pass through the membrane due to osmotic pressure and exit at the clean side of the membrane. Dirty water containing a high concentration of total dissolved solids, this is shortly TDS, uh, that are too large to pass through the membrane will then run to waste as the solids collect and are washed away at the dirty side of the membrane. The rejection rate for the dirty uh, to clean water is around 4 to 1. Uh, so 4 dirty and 1 pure water depending on your mains water pressure. The higher the mains water pressure, the more efficient the units will become as greater pressure will be applied to the membrane. The ideal main water pressure for the RO system is around 50 to 40 psi. Under 40 psi, the filter won't make its job really good. But what type of RO devices are there? RO devices can basically be categorized uh, according to their water flow, the efficiency. In general, cheaper and smaller appliances have lower water yields and lower efficiencies. This means they produce less soft water per hour while letting more wet water through them. The name of the RO devices usually includes the daily yield measured in gallons or liters. On some more expensive devices, we can see up to three or four stages on the devices. This will result in an improvement in the ratio and will also increase the amount of purified water per day. In return, we have to reckon with the more expensive product price. In the description down, you can find an affiliate link of a device which is quite similar to the one I'm using now. Which components can be found on an arrow unit? First of all, we have to tap with the inflow tube. Here you can adapt the RO device to your water supply. Then we have two big filters. One is the carbon filter, where the water usually passes through and this is an activated carbon pre-filter. This is cleaning it out from chemical contaminants like chlorine and heavy metals. This pre-filter should be replaced annually to protect the RO membrane. 
The water then flows into a second pre-filter called a fine filter. This is around 5 or 10 microns per filter. With this is cleaning of the mechanical impurities invisible to the naked eye. The purified water enters the membrane housing of the RO device. An RO membrane can last up to 3 to 8 years. Neglated pre-filters drastically reduce the membrane's life. The membrane mustn't dry out. Attention! When installing and replacing the membrane, don't physically touch the membrane itself, neither the sides. Then we have the tubes. There are two pipe branches on the membrane. One to deliver the useful and the purified soft water, which will be used in the aquarium. The other tube carries the bad water. It comes out of the membrane housing. This will be connected to the drain. At least we have the flow regulator. This small white cylinder on the bad water piping is for regulating the in and out flow. The function is very easy and this way you can flow the rate of the bad water. Thereby you can increase the yield of softened water. It is advisable to rinse before and after each use and this will increase the service life of the RO unit. This can be done by placing the flow regulator in the open position and then allowing only a few minutes, 5 or 10 minutes, for the water just to flow through. There are still a few components I could talk about, but because I'm using only the arrow device and I'm not using any uh, pressure pump or anything else, I just wanted to stick with the basics of the arrow device. I'm curious about you. Where are you from and what are you using? Are you using arrow device or are you using only tap water? Please let me know in the comments below. Up here you can find another video, a playlist of my quick tips. And down below you can find the basics of aquascaping video I made before. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye!